Zdravetsi Prijatelli, welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria with me, Gareth. We're on another trip again today and we're in Stara Zagorski, Bani. That's about 12 kilometers just outside of Stara Zagora city. And we're in Hotel Amira. Four star hotel, beautiful little boutique hotel, it's not so big. We took a double room with breakfast and dinner included. Now I'm not going to tell you the price of this place just yet or what I thought about it. I'll show you around, show you the spa center, show you what food that we had and then I'm going to let you know the price and what I thought about it. So whilst we're looking through maybe you can have a little guess what you think the price was going to be. Oh so let's go and check it out. As we entered the room, first thing we noticed, actually the room wasn't so big, but seeing as we don't spend a lot of time in the room anyway, this wasn't going to be a big problem for us, but it was presented and decorated very lovely. All clean, you could see the linen was quality, and a nice little sofa bed for Jani. We had to pay an extra five lever per person per day for the view. No expense bed in the bathroom, and all amenities were provided. We immediately put on our bathrobes that were provided as Jani wanted to go for a swim. We went down to the spa and the swimming pools. The reception was decorated in a lovely aquatic feel. We have a fully equipped gym with many machines, enough for any person who is a gym enthusiast. The water of the swimming pool was full with many different minerals that have a lot of healing properties that heal ailments, such as neurological diseases, inflammations of urine, kidneys and gallbladder, jaundice and many other ailments. The water of the pool was 30 degrees. It was a nice sized pool at that. Inside they had a thermal room with a steam bath, a finished sauna, hot chairs, an infrared sauna, and also an ice bucket, just to cool yourself down after. If you've not joined us on our Facebook group yet, A Taste of Bulgaria, then get involved. You can post things, ask questions to people in the group all about Bulgaria. We look forward to seeing some of your posts in the future. Come and join us. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying Let's get down to the restaurant and talk about the food. Our first night we had a lovely caprese salad. Very simple, but you could tell they'd use good ingredients. And we had that with a rakia. 
Next up for the main course was a melt in your mouth pork steak with an extremely creamy mashed potato. Mm -mm -mm. My only complaint was the dessert it was supposed to be a brownie. This is not a brownie, it's a chocolate tart, but it still tasted good. All in all, it was a great night. The next morning, on to the breakfast. It was buffet style, Nescafe coffee machine and some juices. I had my usual espresso. The buffet was full with different hams and cheeses. You could have a bit of salad, full English style breakfast with a bit of Persian ifaliki. You could also have a healthy breakfast and not so healthy donuts and pancakes. Getting down at eight o'clock was a great choice. No one else was in the restaurant. If you want to help support the channel, then you can buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee is a website where you're able to make small donations to the channel. Without subscription, you're able to essentially buy me a coffee. There'll be a link in the description below. The second night's dinner consisted of a classic Shopska salad, followed by some river trout, very nice, fresh, and a coconut panna cotta blackberry compote. There was also an a la carte menu if you wish to order more or you didn't like anything on the menu. Here is a little snippet of that a la carte menu. Slow it down if you want to see the prices. So like I always say, please come on, give us a thumbs up. Let's get this video spread to other people. Thoughts about this hotel? It's absolutely amazing. Very beautiful, I love the decor. I mean, the hotel is really clean and the staff are absolutely professional. Professional in the restaurant, reception professional. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, what you really wanna know. It cost us 140 lever for two nights per person. So it's about 70 lever per person per night. We actually got Jana for free, but her breakfast and dinner wasn't included in that. They have all different types of rooms. They also have apartments and houses so you can also upgrade to them. Just go on their website and check it out. So if you're taking a trip to Stara Zagora, definitely recommend that you come to this hotel. It's highly recommended. The staff are professional in the restaurant, in the reception, beautiful spa area, nice sized pool. You know, I mean, you got to see it all for yourself. What do you really think? Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Now, if you want to see my little tour of Stara Zagora, choose this video here. If you want to see other things that we did here on this trip, choose this video here.